Hello and welcome to today's Nairobi News Bulletin. My name is Modoni Mushiri. A 19-year-old girl in Kangemi has killed her boyfriend in a feud alleged to have occurred over a pregnancy. 25-year-old Kelvin Katwa, the deceased, is said to have been denied responsibility of the girl's pregnancy. The girl had exposed the deceased on Facebook and allegedly shamed him for not owning up to his act. Out of anger, he went to confront the girl, identified as Sheila Atema, at her house where she met his death after being stabbed in the neck. After Kunita and Kafika Kamulango and Kakutana Kijana and Tok and Adam in a panda, so I will have a pile at the Kachin in Naka and Mukanaka. Eric Kiraide is the new national government spokesman. Kiraide was until this morning appointed the general manager for security services at the Kenya Airport Authority. He has previously served as the spokesperson for the National Police Service. The appointment was announced by the newly appointed Deputy Chief of Staff at State House, Mzioka Waita. Until Kiraida's appointment, State House spokesman Manoa Esipisu has been performing this function. A two-year-old toddler who went missing on Monday morning has been found. Baby Linian and Winja and her caregiver were picked up by a Kayole pasta after they lost their way. The two were returning from a visit to the Mama Lucy Kibaki Hospital for a measles jab. The house help Florence Atea told the pastor that she was unable to trace her employer's house after taking the baby to the hospital. The baby's parents had reported a case of the missing person. And finally, an Uber driver has been accused of assaulting a female client earlier last week has come out to defend himself, saying he was actually the victim. Stephen Okeo has confirmed that the altercation did happen, but insists that it was triggered by the customer who hit him with her, her handbag while accusing him of taking the longer route as to charge her for more. He further alleges that the client had ordered him to stop at a U-turn, but he sped off after he saw some people trying to get into his car. The woman, Catherine Jerry, later exited the car without paying. Mr. Okeo also says that Uber officials in Kenya have mistreated him by refusing to listen to his side of the story. And that's it for us for today. For these and more stories, be sure to log on to www.nairobinews.co.ke. My name is Mudoni Mushiri.